Now, who sees the problem with using these masks as uh, as sculpting? You guys, you, this should be old hat now. You should be able to say that in like 30 seconds. What's the problem with this uh, using this for sculpting? Bad edges, really bad edges, too low. So, actually, Steve, you're saying by too low, you mean I need to divide my model higher. So then you start getting into that polygon economy where you never have enough money. And so the idea is don't f don't keep trying to accumulate money. I mean, you know, we're we're all doing that. But <laughs> uh just try not to get into the rat race. What you need to do is retool what's going on. And that's where insert mesh becomes important or these new features become important. So all of that to say you have bad edges. What do you do? What's the first solution you can do to clean up bad edges? You change the topology. So one of the features that came out was in geometry, edge loop. You had groups loops. Okay, I'm going to delete the. Let's do this really low. There, I'm going to delete higher and delete lower and groups loops. So what did groups loops do? It recast it and it put edge loops all the way around it. So this was the first feature. This is before panel loops. Uh, so there's some features, there's some elements to this feature that are important. Let's just go through those real quick. Some, some of them are useful, some of them are less so. Uh, loops Let's set that down to one. So now you get one edge loop around your shape, and this is kind of cleaned up the topology, kind of. You're still going to need H polish, okay? And H polish was developed with this in mind. Okay, I'm going to undo. There we go. We can increase this. Let's increase it to two groups, loops. And now you see, you know, it gets a little bit cleaner. This is a much cleaner edge that's happening there. And we don't necessarily have another polygon, but it's just a much, I don't know, a much cleaner edge. Okay, let's go into loops. Three. Now you really start to see what that does. You got one, two, three. Set that to four, groups, loops. One, two, three. But you're just really putting lots of polygons in there. Now, what would be the reason for putting lots of polygons in there instead of just, you know, one row? Why would we need to put lots of polygons? Okay, definitely the creasing, the border, the it's the quality of it. So for example, let's go into brush. I'm going to go into auto masking. I'm going to say mask by poly groups. Okay. I'm going to just turn that on. And I'm going to turn this guy off and go to the move brush. And I'm going to select somewhere in here. Just press alt to kind of push it out. Uh, I'm going to set my focal shift. I'm going to set that draw size really large. Okay. So this helps you get a clean edge. Because you've got one edge loop that's right there, and then you've got a lot of stuff on the side and here to really make that kind of work. So it just increases the amount of control you'll have on that deformation. Uh, you could also combine these guys. So group visible. Whoops, that's not going to work because of the uh, way that's arranged both sides. Uh, so let's say do this and I'm going to say auto group. Okay. And that worked. Auto group functioned by basically saying out of whatever is visible, take the things that are connected, make them one group. And that stuff that's not connected, make that another group. And, th and that worked just fine. Whoops. Okay, and so we zoom out. Turn this off. 
and I'm losing yeah there we go okay so we've got a little bit more edge but we've got lots of polygons in there to really work with us so the idea with more loops is m a little bit more edge control a little bit more finesse now in my view four is way 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 too much uh, way too much but it's functional and uh, and it was the beginning now some of the other things that you can do let's uh, go back in time here a little bit let's say set this back to two because I think that was good enough what is this G polish uh, how much polish will be applied to the surface when groups loops is pressed now this is relevant as well as as somebody else was pointing out um, when you come into the uh, poly group you've got from masking here along with M tolerance we'll try that out as well but let's come in here and say when we're doing um, groups loops let's just set this not to a hundred because why? why why do you not want to set this to a hundred because sometimes in ZBrush there are differences at zero and a hundred so I set it kinda close to a hundred but not a hundred just in case something weird happens you can kind of see that happening um, if I go back let's lower my draw size do you see the relaxation happening this is a G polish but in another sense it's also relaxation there's less relaxation happening there let's turn that on groups loops kind of average get rid of that groups loops okay can anybody tell me the difference between when you have that on or off this round circle you can learn more about these if you go to deformation because now all of them have these round circles so it's an open circle or a closed circle uh, closed circle basically being a dot if I remember right and the open circle being you know a, cir a, a circle <laughs> okay um, hello one's a dot one's a circle and it's really a matter of uh, how much how it's calculating how do I say this it's a matter of whether or not it's calculating just this area or whether or not it starts to include the surrounding area as well do you include the surrounding polygons or just the polygons within a shape it's just a switch let me see if anybody got it yeah, you could say one arrow forms better, one has hard corners. Um, if we do this, you'll just see things softening. First, if we go to the open, should be retaining a little bit more. It's In many ways, it's minor, but it'll be more significant uh, when you're dealing with a curved surface and a lot more stuff going on. So less relevant for us in this particular case okay so let's backtrack a little and let's do this option which uh, was also suggested oh, Michael also had a suggestion Okay, yeah, that's a good one, guys. All right, uh, from poly painting, let's just say from masking. I wish I could just snapshot that, but you can't. This is crazy time. And you see how low that number is 0.07. By default, it's like 0 0.01 to get that right. Uh, from masking and from poly painting is actually this is pretty relevant, but the algorithm improved with the uh, group masked. Uh, you can see, you know, they they made a much clearer distinction. Uh, let's go to masking and say clear masking. So, and that's not uncommon for uh, somebody like Pixelogic to do. They'll they'll put this because this was um, 
the uh, poly group. Let's get there, Ryan. From polypane, from masking, was older. And then it looks like this has been added. Group as uh, Dynamesh sub, all of that stuff's kind of added in. And that means that the algorithm's improved. But you can't get rid of the old. So with groups loops, this came in. And they had this M tolerance and all of that. And that really helped you. Uh, but what you can really see happening now is a simplification of all of this stuff that we're doing. Um, so this is really a basic look. I'm going to take a quick look right now. And, you know, let me see if I can do this in less than five minutes.